Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome from Daxfield Wiener Neustadt, Austria, under 23 European Championships in Wiener Neustadt and Schwechert. I will be your host for today. My name is G. Kellner, alongside with me, Melvin Perdue. Good hey. morning, Melvin. Good morning, how's it going? Uh, Rick van Dijk will meet us in a few moments. We saw the officials for the tournament, or for the game, from Germany, home plate umpire Ramon Weiss, also from Germany, first base umpire Marco Federico, and from Italy, third base umpire Luca Palazzotta. On the screen, you see betting order for Team Great Britain has to take on Team Netherlands. Yeah, absolutely. Standout hitters for Great Britain right now. You have Ben Lead hitting 800 in the tournament currently. And uh, I'll give you the, the defensive order right now for Team Netherlands in right field, number 18, Manix Ruben, center field, number 25, Jan Norton, in left field, number six, Edwin Irauskin, on third base, number two, Mike Kelpum, shortstop, number 20, Brandon Rincones, second base, number seven, Rayleigh Ligito, first base, number 26, Jair van Borculo, the catcher, number 16, Sam Kuiper, and starting pitcher, number 12, Naut Kracht. The designated hitter will be number 17, Max Koops. Throughout the game, we'll, Melbourne will give you stats and uh, from the tournament and information what we know about the players so far. Though it's early in the morning, already a good crowd here in Wiener Neustadt. Dutch fans are here. Fans for the British team are here and some locals. So this game will decide who has first place in the group as both teams have a win over Czech Republic and over Austria. So both teams with a 2-0 record so far. Yeah, both teams have played very well. Um, you got not crowd on the mound for the first time. Haven't seen him yet. Um, looks to be a very competitive baseball game today. Cocked. Tall, skinny, right-handed pitcher. Sunny day here in Wiener Neustadt. Yesterday we had a little rain and even a rain delay in, in the night game. But today and for the rest of the week, the forecast is good. We'll get warmer day by day. Play baseball here all week long until Saturday. So the lead of hitter for Team Great Britain, number one, the center fielder, Ray Mercer. Mercer hitting uh, 143 on the tournament. Um, great speed, lead off hitter. Music. <laughs> I'm inside. Get off my plate. 
So, cocked. Same as a lot of other pitches, just throwing from the stretch position. This one hit off his foot, foul ball immediately. That hurts, as we see in the replay. Ray Mercer on his way back to the batter's box. Two balls, two strikes to count for Mercer. Great Britain had a late game yesterday against Austria, and with the rain delay, it was almost 11 when they were finished, and they have the early game today, so short night for that team. He got him. Mercer down on strikes. Next up, number 22, the right fielder, Ben Lead. Ben Lead, arguably the uh, hottest hitter for Great Britain right now, hitting 800 in the tournament. Um, 1800 OPS. Hit the baseball very well. First pitch, strike one. Tall right handed batter, Ben Lead. Good strike two. Not cracked. Quick worker on the mound. This pitch in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Swing and miss. Two strikeouts now. Why not cracked? Yeah, great velocity from the left, from the uh, right handed pitcher. A lot of life. Next up, number 25, the catcher, Andrew Johnston. Johnston, 286 on the tournament so far. First pitch, misses high. Andrew Johnson with a lot of protectors. Shin, <laughs> shin elbow, and arm guard. <laughs> Hand guard as well. Ground ball back to the pitcher and not caught, gets you out at first. Perfect inning. As we see in the replay. Perfectly executed. A lot of orange already in the stadium. Yeah, they actually have a pretty good fan base here supporting them. And here's the defensive lineup for Great Britain in starting right field, number 22, Ben Lead. In center field, number one, Ray Mercer. In left field, number eight, Kenneth Dawson. 
On third base, number 20, Michael Flaherty. Shortstop, number 6, Jake Lambden. Second base, number 17, David King. On first base, number 9, Tyler Sharpless. Uh, catcher, number 25, Andrew Johnston. And starting pitcher, Matteo Solicito. The designated hitter will be number 12, Donovan Crook. The way here, Marnix Ruben in the box. Yeah, start, start. Make sure. Matteo Solicito from stretch. And you're right, Marnix Ruben shows bond. Good, <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Strong hitter, not afraid to lay one down. No. It makes you a more effective hitter too because they're forced to respect it. See third baseman Michael Flaherty almost on the grass. One strike. It's this one into center field. And Ray Mercer runs it down. One down. Next up, number 25, Yandro Trump. Trump hitting 333 on the tournament, 800 OPS. Also, uh, everyday starter in the Dutch Major Leagues, plays for Hasi away. His head coach is actually on third base right now. Sharp. Hey, back. Step this way, step this way, step yeah. this way. First pitch, strike one, provided by Matteo Solicito. This one into center field. Ray Mercer on his way back. Routine play for Ray Mercer. Two down. Next up, number six, Edwin Irauskin. Irauskin, 500 hitter on the tournament. Also having a great event. Hey, 
First pitch, strike one. Miroska not liking that no. call. It's a little, well, almost ladder high. But yeah. Yeah, they have to get used to the strike zones of either umpire. Yeah, of course. They're going to change from umpire to umpire, right? You don't want it to, but yeah. it is. <laughs> so it is. Same for the pitcher, though. Yeah. Want the baseball here? Swing and a miss. Nice breaking ball by Solicito. He got him, rung him up. Perfect thing also for Stada Matteo Solicito. So scoreless after one. And we'll be right back. Top of the second inning, leading off for Great Britain, number 20, Michael Flaherty. Right, we got Michael Flaherty, 500 on the tournament so far, 1,200 OPS. We're also joined by Rick Van Dyke. How are you doing, Rick? I'm doing all right. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Rick is... Um, a Dutchman himself. Played. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Good morning from Wiener Neustadt. <laughs> so, Rick, what are your what are your thoughts? Any predictions, projections? I mean, what I'm seeing right now is that Nautkracht is absolutely, absolutely dominating the British lineup. Um, let's hope he can keep this up uh, for him. Um, I'm expecting a really good game out of this. Uh, pitching is looking really strong, and let's see how tight the defense is uh, when it's crunch time. 100%. One ball, two strikes for Flaherty. Falls the next pitch back. Pops it up, out of play. We lean Philos play on the grass, on Michael Flaherty. Another pop up over the backstop. Into center field. 
Yandro Tron runs it down. Next up, number six, Jake Lambden. Jake Lambden, 200 on the tournament so far. 775 OPS. So, Rick, what are your thoughts on the Dutch team so far? Looking strong. Looking very strong. Pitching's been delivering it. Um, defense been airtight so far. I haven't seen a single error being committed. I've been here the whole week. So. Yeah. Um, offense, yeah. I mean, they're, they're driving the ball hard. They're making good contact. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to see how this Dutch season carry on. 100%. I think the biggest thing, uh, the biggest surprise to me i mean we know the dutch health class has great pitching but the level of pitching that this u23 team has with these young pitchers i mean all of them came in pretty much dealing yeah unbelievable absolutely unbelievable i mean um for both of us we both played in this in that league uh, to see how the pitching has developed there is really a testimonial to how uh, how the dutch coach are working there absolutely Pitch low and away. Four balls for Jake Lambden. First man on board. Next up, number eight, Kenneth Dawson. Kenneth Dawson. Wow, great, having a great tournament, 667. Batting average, 1100 OPS. I think he was behind the dish last night and called a great game as well. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, utility guy, huh? Multifunctional. <laughs> Look familiar? <laughs> like a Swiss Army knife, Melvin. <laughs> you guys would know this. What's the, the, the wristband that he has with the information on his... Uh, so, left arm. So certain coaches um, have adopted a new system where it's not really about calling signals, but they might call out a number, and then they'll look at their card, and whatever's on that number is indicating the play that they're going to be doing, essentially. Fly ball into left field. Edwin Yeroskin runs that down. Gets doubled off. Yeah, Jake Lampton took too far of a lead because he thought the ball would land and he's called out on the base. So I've, I've seen those uh, signal cards on, on only on softball so far. Yeah. And it's the first time I see it in baseball. It's well, you see it a lot more in America now. Um, a lot of coaches are adopting it because it's becoming easier and easier to pick signs. So they've started to adopt this um, new system to basically prevent people from stealing their signs yeah. because it's almost impossible because they just have so many sequences on that card. So you basically have to see it's like a grid card and then they call out one, two or three numbers and mm -hmm. then you look up the number in the grid and then you have a certain play attached to it. And when, when we had the introduction earlier, I saw some guy on the British team, they had it on their belt. Yeah. Is that just yeah. to, to hold it there for the moment or to keep it there? Well, yeah, to keep play? it there because some of okay. them like to hold it on their Maybe a wristband on their arm. Others prefer to put it right here. They don't like wearing wristbands. In, in, in big leagues, when a new guy comes in, you know, you see guys having the, the card in the back pocket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it supposed to play them? I well, mean, it's, it's but not. But that's not for science. That's for, like, where they, they spray the ball. Yeah. The it could also right? be spray charts. Like, that's something even we use here yeah. um, for the diving dugs. We have spray charts. And, you know, it's, it's very valuable because it just tells you what the hitter's tendencies are. And when you're playing outfield especially, you don't want to just guess. You want to play the percentages, and if they beat it, they beat it. You tip your cap. But uh, you should never be an outfielder and stay in the exact same position for every hitter. You know, you right, want to right. move to their tendencies. Right. I was, I was an outfielder, and I, I had everything in my head. I didn't need a spray chart because I knew everybody in the league exactly. who played so many years. But I, I'm glad I, don't, I didn't have to play against you guys because my spray chart would be very simple. Everything between catcher and pitcher because I, was a <laughs> I got a lot of bond signs, a, little, a lot of bond signs. Oh, that's great. So bottom of the second, leading off for the Dutch team, number 17, the designated hitter, Max Kops. Max Cops uh, starting off slow at 167, but definitely a solid baseball player, good hitter. This ball is hit towards us, but we have a screen in front. 
And a local boy for us as well, Melvin, Max yeah. Copes. We think uh, you know him since how long? Oh, years and years and years. I coached him way back in Bixie Baseball Academy in the Netherlands, um, in Brabant, Eindhoven. So a great kid, doing really well, um, playing college baseball in America for a Division I school in Georgia. Yeah, great kid. It's great attitude. We could work here by starting pitcher Matteo Solicito. Two strikes on Corps. Quick ball, just missed. Uh, Solicito, actually, uh, his dad, we played him last year in the in the European Cup. Yeah. Um, 51 year old, still uh, still shoving. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's older than me, and I'm. My bones are hurting, man. <laughs> Max Kops down on strikes. Next up, number 26, Jeff van Bokolo. So Bokolo, uh, 200 on the tournament, 600 OPS. Catching an amazing tournament though so far. Like really immaculate behind the dish. He's playing first base today, though. Yeah. Um, uh, Sam Carpenter's getting the opportunity behind the play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful day. Nice to, that the rain yeah. finally poured out. Yesterday looked a bit challenging. Huh? Yeah. We had <laughs> like a 45 minute rain delay in the night game. People slip and sliding all over the place. Yeah. yeah let's, 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 let's not talk about the rain delay. Yeah. <laughs> Grounds crew did a uh, fantastic job to get the, the game in last night and always do a fantastic job throughout the week to keep the field in shape. And it's perfect shape here in Wiener Neustadt. Oh, yeah. Did a great job. Been doing a great job. And Bocolo takes the next pitch for a ball. So we'll see that showing off a little uh, fastball slider curveball combination so far. Yeah, mixing the speeds, which is yeah. what you got to do. Keep hitters off balance, right? Especially a powerful lineup like the Netherlands. Strike one. Just like the underpowers is definitely giving him the blacks, which you as a pitcher, I'm sure you'd greatly appreciate. Absolutely. Three and one. Hitters count for Van Bokolo. All good, all good. He walks him. Looks like curveball has some good depth, huh? Mm-hmm. It's coming out of his hand really nice. Um, last two he's thrown have been up and down misses, so I think he's going to find it right now and be able to try to get it over strikes. George, as you can tell, uh, Calgon yesterday, some impressive plays at third base there. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it was awesome really defense. good. Uh, as you said earlier, they're, they're, they're fantastic on defense. And uh, I can't think of an error yeah. in the Dutch defense. With a lot of speed, a lot of athleticism. Not too yeah. many balls drop. What are your thoughts on the British team so far, Rick? They're solid, man. They're solid. <laughs> like, uh, I like to say is like uh, they play the game hard. Like, all, all what I I've seen is like guys going after it. They're intense. They like to like to run. Like to 
throw hard, they will do whatever. Um, what I saw yesterday is they put, the Austrians put up a great fight, uh, but the Bridges just came true in quality right there. So Seems like they're very, um, we'll call it confident. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it confident. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Kekun Donald strikes. Next up, number 16, Sam Kuiper, the catcher. Kuiper is batting a thousand uh, so far in the tournament. On one at bat. Catcher's going to have a little chat with the pitcher. Yeah, I want to make sure to get on the same page. the short stop. They can play, gets the honor first. Nice play by Jake Lambden. After two, we're still scoreless here. We'll be right back. Leading off, top of the third, number 12, Donovan Crook, the designated hitter. For the Great Britain, the designated hitter, Donovan Crook, number 12. All right, Donovan Crook, 167 in the tournament, 700 OPS. Had a double yesterday, so he's looking to heat up right here. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's only been a couple of games, so you definitely have hitters in this tournament. There's a line drive up the middle, base hit for Donovan Crook. Yes, there you go. Got hitters in this tournament. They might have just still getting their feet wet. Next up, number nine, Tyler Sharples. Sharples. 
Sharples hasn't posted a bad average yet. Not cocked from the stretch position. Picks off. Pick off. Attempt over to first base. Up by Shapos. Oh, well. My Kelpum almost got under it. Misjudged it a little bit. But foul. No harm done. Yep, new life. I think this is the first time we see Sharples at the plate because he, uh, he pitched an inning yesterday, if I'm correct. He did. Yeah. You're right. So we got it was the, the first relief pitcher. We got ourselves a little two way guy over here, guys. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Something you used to be back in the day, huh? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> nice bunt. They get the out on second, get the force play on second base. Nice little athletic play from now Kock over there. Yeah. So, uh, way to get the ball, jump up and get the throw down to second. And yes, Donovan and Crook had a bad jump from first base. Next up, number 17, David King. David King, 200 on the tournament, 500 OPS. Starts him off with a strike. Fly ball to the first base side. And foul. I think after yesterday, everybody's thinking twice before, before running into that fence yeah. anymore. So. So, <laughs> flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> saw Morning Truman taking a cautious approach over there. Yeah. Thomas, <laughs> Thomas Karim on the on the check team ran through the fence and held onto the ball right? and held onto the ball. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So he went to the hospital, got X-rays. I have no information yet if his hand was actually broken or not because the question was there. Oh wow. I'm just amazed, you know, that he held onto that ball. That is just phenomenal. I need to send that to Sports Center. Foul ball. Ground ball up the middle. Get the out on second. Ball get, finds the dugout, so King gets advanced to second base. Yeah, right, Lily Hito with a one hopper to first base, and yeah, from Bocolo couldn't come up with it. So, run on second, two down at bat. The lead of man, number one, Ray Mercer. Mercer 0 for 1, strikeout in first at bat. Balls to count for Ray Mercer. And 
gefragt. Mir ist es outside. Gutsy. Gutsy. Yeah, that was gutsy coming back with mm -hmm. a trio breaking pitch. Yeah. yeah, that's. Shows the confidence that he has in it. Three one, hitters count for Ray Mercer. He lays off and walks. No harm done here. Base was open, so yeah. in, in, the, in the end, he's going to go probably go right after this guy here. Well, I don't know if that's a sound strategy because this guy's hitting 667. All right, ben Lee up next. Yeah. You know, 0 for 1 on the day, one strikeout, but still swinging the bat pretty well this tournament. As you know, Melvin, rules are meant to be broken, so. <laughs> Too shy. <laughs> right field and Monix Rubin is there. Didn't see him with two men on. And we'll be right back. Scoreless after two. Top of the third inning. Mateo Solicito still doing his work. So for all those who are interested in the current standings in group one, you have Great Britain 2-0, Netherlands 2-0, Austria 0-2, and the Czech 0-2. Group B, you have Italy that's undefeated at 2-0, Germany's 1-1, France is 1-1, and Belgium is 0-2. So Whoever wins this game will stand to play whoever finishes second in Group B. Meeting off for the Netherlands, number 20, Brandon Rinconas, the shortstop. Pitch outside, ball one. Rakona is currently, hit, currently hitting 167, 333 OPS. Ball. Get the here. So I see the Great Britain outfield shifted to the right side. Doesn't expect him to pull the ball. Yeah, and even the second baseman plays yeah. him on the grass. Exactly. Based on the swing, I'd beg to differ, but we'll see. They, they expect some upper power of him. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, what we've seen from him throughout the tournament, he's kind of basically a put the ball on the ground and run guy. Yeah. Um, very fast. Yeah. Uh, Line drive into the short subs glove. Jake Lambden is there. Next up, number seven, Riley Lejito. Yeah, Lejito hasn't recorded a hit yet. Um, 333 OPS. Son of well known Dutch Hoof class of player. He's currently in the stands right now. I would actually go further and then say absolute legend of Dutch baseball. Okay. Yeah. Let's go legend. <laughs> I actually have a funny story with him. I remember um, playing against him when he was at Neptunus and I was at DSS. And um, my friend was recording my at-bat, and she had the light on. And he stopped the game to tell her to turn the light off. Because <laughs> 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 it was distracting him at third base. Sounds like a thing he would do, yeah. <laughs> on ball over to third base side, just foul. Yeah, but we, you can say whatever you want about Riley. This this man enjoyed no, the game. No, he's a great he guy. Enjoyed great the guy. game. I really like him. Yeah, 100%. Always, had, always had a smile on his face. 100%. Play, and did a great job at staying healthy throughout his career. Yeah, absolutely. Great guy. Really like him. Next pitch is in the dirt. Got him, Mateo. Home back. See what Soto Cedar comes up with here. Good ball. Smart pitch. To the short sub. Lamb in. Ooh, ooh. And he got him. Very close play over at first base. He was not expecting that speed. Yeah, Lamb thought he had more time. He did. He did. <laughs> Two down. Oh. Back to the top of the lineup. He loved man. Marnix Ruben. Ruben 0 for 1 on the day. <laughs> Pretty good swing. First at bat. Right at somebody. Stop! Stop! Martin's family's in the stands as well. Uh, former Hope Plus player Berend and uh, his brother Reinand. Yep. I see. I, I see. I, 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 I saw the last name, but you know, I, you know, I just didn't want to assume anything. But now it makes sense. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I saw a little light bulb going off. Yeah, right light there. Bulb. Okay. <laughs> when you see the last name, you're like, is it maybe? Ground ball. Good to so the third baseman. Yes, sir. And Michael Flaherty fires over to first base. That ends the inning. Competitive ball game as expected. Zero zero.
top of the fourth inning. Andrew Johnson, 0 for 1. To Rincones. Great play. Nice play and wow. what a stretch by first baseman Jeff and Boclo. How far did Rincones have to go back here? Yeah. Almost on the grass. That's See the replay play. here. That's Backhand grab. Play. Wow. Strong wow. arm. Great job. Uh, Dutch pretty, defense is flawless. I'm, I'm flawless. I'm pretty sure. You will see more of, like more confidence in Cox pitching right now because he knows the defense will be behind him, 100%. picking up everything. Quick out. The moment we mentioned that, we got a quick out. <laughs> <laughs> that was Flaherty. Stop. Number six, Jake Landon. Landon got walked his first at bat. But Rick, we talk about that a lot, like how important, like you can be a successful baseball team 100% just by doing the little things. If you make the routine plays, mm -hmm. if you stay in the strike zone, it's very tough to beat you. No, 100%. Um, I mean, we always, I mean, we grew up with the thing that it's walk, skill, walk, skill games. 100%. Um, if you can keep throwing strikes, get your, keep the ball on the ground, maybe you get weak contact you'll put yourself in a position to win the game. Absolutely. If you give up a hit here or there, it happens. It doesn't matter. It happens matter. to everybody. But um, as long as you minimize that, then you're doing a good job. Even if you give up a bomb, you know, still, if you're making the plays you're supposed to make, you're still going to be a successful baseball team nine times out of ten. Solo shots don't hurt because normally you put up more than one run. So. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow. Fly ball oh. into left field. And Edwin Raskin comes up with it. Then in scene in quick. Swing of work for Nautcock one more time. Yeah. Very, very quick inning, working efficiently. As he should. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is my favorite song, by the way. I know, George. Oh. You mentioned you mentioned it yesterday. Like, I'm a big Dua Lipa I, fan. I didn't know you were such a big Barbie fan. <laughs> I'm not a big Barbie fan. My niece wants me to watch the movie with her, but I said, you have to go with your girly friends. I'm not going to <laughs> She would she would make me wear pink for sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it would look good on you too, George. Know, so right? don't worry about it. I know, I, I know, I know. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. Thanks for thanks for the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so I expect some changes as the British manager walks up to the umpire. There's a spider over here that's going to attack me. There are some defensive changes. We'll get them once they get up to bed. Taking over first base, number 19, Ethan Murphy.
Bottom of the fourth, betting for the Netherlands, number 25, Jandro Tromp. Tromp 0 for 1 on the day. And Team GB came through with a couple defensive changes on which their catcher. Let's see how Celestino reacts to it. I know from experience that when you're dealing and all of a sudden you have a new catcher on the behind you, or in front of you as a pitcher, um, it could be difficult. So yeah. let's see how it, uh, how, how it will work out. Like he maybe co be calling different sequences or? Yeah, it starts with that or just the way it like normally you sets up throughout. Or? Yeah, throughout the game you kind of sink in with your catcher. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why it's exactly it was why it's maybe difficult to like have a different target, different setup. Yeah. Like so it's it's always different how people react yeah, to it. Like so. I have experienced over the years so every pitcher has his body catcher yeah. usually, right? I agree. So yeah. you want to deal with your best man and they all there's a very famous saying George like that the pitchers are most vulnerable in the first couple innings because they're not really locked in yet mm -hmm. like not really synced in and as the game progresses you see that they're starting to sink in with their catcher their thoughts start to align and then it's really hard to hit a pitcher who's dialed in so we had as mentioned we had a couple of defensive substitutions for Great Britain we have Ethan Murray Murphy, excuse me, coming in for Andrew Johnston. We had Dawson, Dawson, who was in left field. He's coming in to catch. And then Tyler Sharple uh, moved from first base to left field. Two balls, two strikes for Yandro Tromp. Hey, you change first base coaches, we change first base. Pops it up. Over to the shortstop, and Chick Lambden is there, secures the, the, the fly ball. Next up, number six, Edwin Iraskin. So, Edwin 0 for 1 on the day with a strikeout. Good breaking pitch there. Yeah. Yeah. Roskin checks his swing and the check with the umpires. Yes, he went. Just a little over anxious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In his heart, he knew. He knew in his heart. Pops this one up over to the first base side. Great pitch, uh, great pitch sequence, huh, Rick? Absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, new first baseman Ethan Murphy takes care of that. Start number 17, Max Kops. Uh, that pitch is basically what you wanted, so you got him out in front twice with the curveball, and then he's late on the fastball, so it's... 100%. It's almost textbook, huh? Yeah. But sometimes textbook works. <laughs> That's true. First pitch, strike one. Really working backwards now, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Starting off with the breaking stuff. Yep, 100%. A second time through the order as well, so maybe give him a new look. Next pitch fall away over the stance. Mm. 
Another thing I've noticed uh, throughout the tournament, most pitchers seem to be working from the stretch exclusively. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right. So. Yeah, and Ross can, couldn't check his, uh, Max Cobbs couldn't check his swing. And he's out on strikes. They didn't see any. So guys, there's a discussion on the YouTube feed about the heritage of players. And you guys were traveling players. Um, what's your opinion about it? Is it okay to bring players over? I think, I'll give you my idea. Um, of course, a lot of guys on the British team um, probably come from the US, but they have UK heritage. And tournaments like this will give a boost to their federation, to their organization, and to other teams. So the, the kids are challenging to be on that team and, but at the moment, to compete in this level, they bring in players with heritage, but not uh, maybe not born and uh, maybe born, but not raised in, in the UK, because that their league is not strong enough. But I still think it will give a boost to their federation. Yeah, I mean, I'm indifferent. Um, I definitely see the advantages that you're saying because ultimately, to make your program more successful in your country, you need to be successful in these events because obviously that just helps. It, you get more exposure and the game to grow 100%. So in that regard, you want to feel the best team you possibly can. But on the flip side of that, if you're not developing the youth and the players within your country, you know, it's going to be tough to sustain that. Right. Does that make right. sense? Right. That's yeah, everybody uh, has his own, own opinion about it. The rules allow it. And yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Exactly. That's why we had this discussion as well last night, uh, George. Um, exactly, they're playing by the rules, and the mm -hmm. rules are the rules for a reason. Um, what Melvin just said, developing in your own country is also very important. Um, but the flip side is that there could be a huge motivational loss because people, you know, people like to look on the negative side of it, and then mm -hmm. it's. Oh, but I have a shot to go there, and they're bringing in a guy from somewhere yeah. else. And to their point, which is fair, if this guy can help you compete and get to the next level, why not? Right, yeah. right. And it's also probably money benefit for the federation if they compete well in a tournament yeah. like this. And, and you know, let's 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 go back f to the game real quick here. Um, adding number eight, Kenneth Dawson. Dawson, 0 for one. Pops it up. Good pitch by Kraft. Yeah, from Bocolo is under it. Out number one. I really like that pitch, guys. See him working underneath the hands, getting the pop up. So, uh, if you can keep that up, then he's going to be very successful. Next up, number 12, Donovan Crook. So Crook one for one on the day. Base hit in his first at bat. Shortstop and fires the first. Nice play by Brandon Rincones one more time, as we say. Yeah, that kid Dutch defense good. is flawless. 100%. That kid has a really good glove, strong arm, really like him. Great range as well. Yeah. Next up, number nine, Tyler Sharples. Sharp was 0 for 1 on the day.
balls, two strikes, the count for Tyler Schapels. Not caught, misses inside. Stunner strike, set in steening. Another, dom Another dominant inning by Niles Cox right there. So turning into a real pitcher's duel, guys. Yeah, 100%. The guy who just struck out, Tyler Sharpless, we talked about him earlier. He was pitching last night. Correct, yeah. And he played first base to start the game, and now he's playing in left field, so he's an all rounder. A Swiss Army knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are very valuable, and I think they're, uh, you don't see that as often. It seems like a lot of players now, they want to get, you know, focused on one position, but when you're able to play multiple positions, you just make yourself a lot more valuable because there's always a spot for you in the lineup. You also got to realize that when playing seven innings, the rosters are sh are smaller than they normally are, so guys like these get even more valuable because of their multifunctionality. 100%. Bottom of the fifth, so leading off for the Dutch team, number 26, Jair yeah, van Bokkelo. Van Bokkelo walked his first time out. I am looking at the bullpen and I'm seeing a British pitcher slowly stretching himself out. So, first pitch strike one. Solacito just has 48 pitches. Let's see what he can do here. And this is inside. Hi. Yeah, it's always he did doing a great job. I think the Dutch team is still looking for the first at base hit. Yeah. Takes ball four for a walk. Next up, number two, Mike Kelkum. 
0 for 1 with a strikeout. Yeah, from Pokemon. Only guy who has been on base so far. He walked twice. It's just a testament to how well Solicito has been pitching, actually. Just walking the same guy twice and to the eye of Fomborkolo. Mm -hmm. He's seen the ball well. Yeah. Very high level in this game. Calgum squaring up. This one down. Perfectly executed. Good, good. And <laughs> defense realized that third base was open, so Jake Linton was hustling over to third because Van Bokro attempted to round second and take the extra base. But nice sacrifice bunt by Mel Kirkboom. Get a runner in scoring position. Like we said, when you sacrifice yourself like that, you get yeah. the love from your teammates. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Next up, uh, number 16, Sam Kuiper. Sam 0 for 1 in the day. Small ball. Look ahead, kid. Took a big cut on that curveball. I guess he was sitting on it, huh? I hope. I hope so. <laughs> as, as we mentioned, pitcher's duel, the British team only has one hit so far yeah. by Donovan Crook, the DH. That's crazy to think about, right? One hit between the two teams. Coming back, oh, he's sending up a curveball. He's been throwing the last two innings, at least he's been throwing people backwards a lot. Yep. So... It would make sense to sit on the sit on the pitch to drive. This is outside. One ball, one strike. The count for Kaipa. Rounder over to the third baseman. Checks the run at second, fires to first. Out on first. Juan Pocoro stays caught on second. Nice play by Michael Flaherty over at third. At bat, number 20, Branton Rincones. 0 for 1 on the day. He's been putting on a clinic at shortstop with his glove. Lined out to, the, to his counterpart, last about, if I believe correct. Right. Good pitch by Solzino here. Yeah, paint in black. Yeah. Right. Couple here. into shallow right field and Ben Lee comes up with it with a sliding catch great positioning this is exactly what we were talking about and after five we're still scoreless here yep
Off the sixth inning, leading off for the British team, number 17, David King. David King 0 for 1 on the day. Seems to be the trend, as we already discussed. Only one hit between the two teams. Grounder over to third base. Mike Helpum oh. fires the first. They get the out. Next up, number one, Ray Mercer. Strikeout and a walk for Ray Mercer. Starts him off with a strike. Back to Cox, fires the first. Ooh, nice. Nice little PFP. Oh, yeah. No, he's been putting on a nice defensive clinic out there uh, together with the entire Dutch team, to be, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, but he's fielding his position really well. Next up, number 22, Ben Lead. in the dirt two balls one strike for Ben lead big hack right there Drops here in Wiener Neustadt. I guess that's only one cloud. Yeah. See some blue skies, so hopefully it's not going to yeah. continue. We had our fill yesterday. Seems uh, seems like your pack with the weather god still is not working, Melvin. Look <laughs> <laughs> away, and he walks in. Base and balls for Ben Lead. Said it plays to the Dutch advantage, that wet wind. Yes, yeah. what they play in every day, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure uh, we all feel right at home over here. <laughs> Next up, number 19, Ethan Murphy, the new first baseman. Tried to check his swing, but couldn't hold up. Looks like Ethan Murray's first at, first at bat on the tournament. Oh. 
good pitch take. high. Good take from Ethan Murphy right there. Strike on the outside corner. All I can say to that is absolutely painted. <laughs> yeah. <That> was <laughs> Of course, you like the pitcher's pitches. Of course, I do. Swing and a miss. That's Tom on strikes. Still scoreless after six innings here, and we'll be right back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Also, the British pitcher, Matteo Solicito, is still doing his work on the mound. Both pitchers scoreless so far. There has been a question on the YouTube feed if there's merchandise available on Ducksfield. Yes, there is for the tournament itself. I have not seen merchandise for either team, but that definitely is for the championship. Seven rightly Lejito as he pops this up for out number one. Top, top. Next up, number 18, Monix Ruben. Back to the top of the lineup, 0 for 2. Pretty much the spark plug for this Dutch team. Nice little idea from Ruben over there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're in the six, we only play seven in this tournament, so need base runners. Create something. Especially a good idea with now that the grass is a little wet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah create some confusion. Great speed. Tough to get a grip on the ball. He's dropped one down in this tournament already. Next pitch. It's in the dirt. It was against Austria, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah dropped yeah, yeah. a nice down third base. Yeah. Melvin, you are testing my memory over here. <laughs> now I'd like to keep you on your toes, man. <laughs> Next pitch. Strike two. Walls to strikes now for Monix Ruben. Let's 
So Luisito delivers. Yeah. Swing and a miss. He got him. Next up, number 25, Yandro Trump. So Trump, um, one of my good friends, our good friends here, Lars Heyer, one if not the best Dutch pitcher over his career in the Dutch Hof Klasse. And he commented on this kid being one if not the best defensive center fielders in the Dutch majors. Um, so He has absolutely put on a clinic out in center field covering a lot of ground. So very impressed with what Yandlo Trump is showing over here. Yep, 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 yep. That's why he's here, because That's he's the best he's in the country. That's why he's here. And counts for every player in this tournament. Good. Good spot. So over two on the day. He's another one. If he drops it down in the right spot, they're not going to get him. Let's go. Rain has almost stopped here. And as I say that, more raindrops come. <laughs> I know. I, was just <laughs> on I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> on and off. Okay. George, no predictions. Look no what predictions. you did, Let's George. not talk about the yeah. rain. <laughs> All right, got a base runner. Walks him. Walks up number six, Edwin Yerowskin. So we'll see those third walk of the day. We'll see if they make it hurt. Told you walks can hurt you. We'll see. Round ball to the third baseman. Michael Flaherty fires over to Let's first. Go. They get the out. Well, you got your answer there, Melvin. No, nope. <laughs> got out of it. Out of boy. Out of boy. Nerves are still. Six. Still scoreless. Both starters still on the mound. If you're watching this spread word that baseball is played here all week long in Wiener Neustadt and Schwechat, you can watch the games on. The main website of the European Federation, wbseurope.org, or the uh, Austrian website, u23baseball.sportpassaustria.at. Spread the word. Baseball is played here all week long, up until Saturday. And if you're in the area, Wiener Neustadt, Schwechat, or Vienna area, or anywhere in Austria, or close countries, come on over. It's fun. Great games, great competition all week long. Yesterday we had friends over from Apollo Bratislava. So, a lot going on here in Wiener Neustadt and Schwechat. Come on out, spread the word. Top of the seventh inning. Starting pitcher, Nautkracht, still doing his work on the hill. He's been impressive today. He's been really impressive. Um, let him finish what he started. Yeah. I know a lot of people, or there's some people in baseball circles don't like games like this, especially in the modern game, but I love this. I love pitcher duels. It's almost like a football game, you know? You're just like, who's going to score? When are they going to score? You know, yeah. it's just, I love it. I mean, this is baseball. I mean, we've been in a couple of ourselves uh, over the last season. Um, I can tell you, now Clark is purely running on adrenaline right here. His adrenaline is true to root, uh, and he's going to show everything he has. He's going to empty the tank. At bat number 20, Michael Flaherty recorded the last out of the previous inning. Over at third base. Next 
pitch away. out of play. I drive into right center field, base hit for Mike Flaherty. Only the second base hit of the ball game. Second, I was gonna say the same thing. Only the second. We're in the seventh. I know. <laughs> what a great pitcher duel. It's awesome. Next up, number six, Jake Lambden. A game like this, you almost think one run's gonna win it. Very famous saying from uh, Bull Durham. How can you not be romantic about baseball, right? This is as good as it gets. A pitcher duel. <laughs> Gotta love this game. Yeah. Jake Lambden shows bond. Pulls back, called strike. Spent for the signal information. Curious if he'll show bunt again. Yes, he squares it. No, oh, he swings. Oh. Like a slash thing. Oh, get rid of it. Oh. If he comes safe at second. Good hustle by Michael Flaherty. So runners on first and second. Getting interesting. First and second, no outs. First real pressure that the Duchess had to face today. Number eight, Kenneth Dawson. And here's the pitching coach have a talk with his starter. Um, he'll just give him some encouragement, right? Nobody's warming up. There well, was somebody yeah. warming up. To be was? Yeah, okay. there was number 13. It's warming up. Um. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, at this point, it's just talking strategy with your entire defense, really your infield, and yeah. making sure everybody's on the same page because you would more than likely see a bunt here. I'd be shocked if you didn't. Yeah, but they're, they're keeping cracked in. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely so, at this moment. So, yeah, just talk strategy. Make sure everybody knows what they're doing on a bunt. Um, decent speed at the plate. Again, I'd be surprised if they didn't bunt, but you never know. So, got to come up big right here now. It's going to really test. Going to test you as a team, as a defense. All right. So, Kenneth Dawson with... Run on first and second, nobody out. Single score run, kid. There it is. Take off attempt over at second. Rincona's not happy. Yeah, but I. Based on what I just saw, I thought they got the call right. I'm sure yeah. we'll see this replay, but it looked like yeah. they got it right. Just a little emotion. Right. <laughs> so tricky now if Dawson would show bond. Grass is wet. 
Shows Bonk pulls back, call strike. How creative can Team GB get now? I guess we'll see. You don't want to be too crazy right here. You got no outs, runners on first and second. You got to push one of these across. Trucked. Squares again over to second. Line drive into the glove of Brandon Rincones. Out number one. Hey. That was risky. It almost worked out. Yeah. That was, that was risky because now you got the double play in order. One out. They can get out of the inning with a ground ball right here. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was a risky call. Next up, the designated here, Donovan Crook. One of the guys with a base hit in the game. First pitch back. The Swiss Army knife Teller Sharples on deck. to the third base uh, pitcher and he gets the out at third. I think that's the only play he could have with the way his momentum right. work was right. carrying him. So. so two down. Yep. Great call. Oh, he took third base out. So yeah, as they're working on the base, again, that's what we that what we were talking about. You have a situation, you have runners on first and second, no outs. I mean, I guess that's a bit, some people consider that a bit old school baseball, but you got the top of the seventh, you know, figure out a way to get him in scoring position, drop it down. That kid puts the ball anywhere, almost, right. and you know, right. you can push a run across. I'm, I'm, I'm sure Kenneth Dawson is thinking like, if my line drive was just a meter to the other side and, he, and then Rikonis can't get to it and then goes through. Yeah. Guy scores. Well, that's baseball. That's baseball. It's a game of inches. Now you got two out, runners on first and second. I bet now, Tyler Sharples. Sharples over two with a strikeout today. Utility player pitcher first base left field everywhere swiss army yeah. knife guys swiss army knife. he gets behind the dish then we'll really know <laughs> <laughs> watch him do it next inning <laughs> andy bats left-handed andy bats left-handed yeah. he's closer I like it swing and a miss two strikes now on tyler shoppos back still 0 2 count now the sun's out again here in Wiener Neustadt in the 17 cocked turns around again 
to second base. Swing to Macy Cotto. Oh. And Nakata no, is going ballistic. He got out of it. He got out of the jam. So going into the bottom of the seventh. Zero, zero. We got a great baseball game on our hands. Bottom of the seventh inning. Also, the British starter, Matthias Solicito, still doing his work on the hill. And we get a shout out from Stevie P in the YouTube feed saying, Great job, guys, in the commentary and cameras, great setup. Thanks, Stevie P. My commentating friends, Melvin Perdue and Rick Van Dyke, doing a great job. I'm just here to be here. <laughs> but the camera setup is by Playa TV, our good friends from Czech Republic, doing a great job. Sorry to interrupt you, George. Seems like we got a pinch hitter. Pinch hitter. Rendrick Pitonella. Rendrick. Falls the first pitch back. So pinch hitter from Max, uh, Max Cops. Pops the next pitch up. So Rundrick taking over the DH spot. Apparently this kid was putting on a clinic during BP. Yeah. <laughs> Understatement. <laughs> I think uh, Solicito will use that pitch as a setup pitch for his next one. Also a Dutch Majors guy. Mm -hmm. RCH Penguins. RCH, yeah, play for RCH. Doing really well in the Hope Classic. Checks his swing. Yeah, RCH has been impressive considering they've only been up a couple years, correct? Two years now, yeah. Yeah, they're uh, doing well. They're doing really good, really good. Uh, they brought in the right guys, got a good team chemistry going on there. And as you know, the facility in Ames State is nice. It's really nice. Outside corner, strike three. Pitanella down on strikes. Next up, number 26, Gia van Bokulo. Uh, double barrel fire in the Great Britain bullpen. So the sequel starts off with a strike. Fought back by Van Borculo.
Dutch still looking for their first hit of the game. This pitch is in the dirt. the pitch by Solicito. He misses low. And as you guys remember from Borklo, walked twice already. Right. So he's seeing the ball really well today. Solicito misses high. Yeah, Van Bokolo. Matteo Solicito from the stretch position. Breaking ball in the dirt. Wow. And yeah, Van Bokolo walks the third time. Yep. Seeing the ball very well. Next up, number two, Mike Kalkboom. And guys, Mark Halbon dropped the sack bunt the last time. Right. Uh, we got one out. Let's see if he yeah. gets something going again. Sam Kaipo on deck. Mike, just make sure. Right there, just make sure. Ray. Ray, right here, just slide off. stop him. First pitch. This is outside. Taken off, but time was called. Van Borklo does not look happy with that time call from Calvo. Yeah. over to first base. But Van Bokolo dives in safely. Base hit by Mike Kelkbaum. Nice piece of hitting. Very nice Short piece of hitting. and third. Runners on first and second. First base hit for Team Netherlands. Coach's visit for Mike's Mateo Solicito. A little intensity at the end of the game, love it. One down, run in scoring position. Great piece by Mike Calvo though. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to get that monkey off their back too, huh? Searching for that first hit. Oh yeah. And 
gee, I actually expected you to say uh, you were a catch race right there, but you didn't. <laughs> yeah. There goes the no-no, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> in the seventh. It would be fair in the seventh, Now right? it's absolutely fair, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did it yesterday in the second inning. I was like, do this on the second. <laughs> I do it with my guys in the first. I'm the first bat. <laughs> Technically, it was valid. Yeah. <laughs> So Cup here is 3.33 on the tournament. At bat now, number 16, Sam Kuiper. Run on first and second. One down. Can Team Netherlands now get creative? If I know anything about Coach Romney, he's always the wheels are always churning up there. Mm -hmm. He's a very aggressive coach. Likes to run, likes to put things on. Double step back, double step back. Mateo Solicito from the stretch. First pitch low. Fight, fight, back side, back side. One more step, one more step, one more step. Go two. Everybody in the Dutch dugout is on their toes. Murph, one to your right, one to your right. Here comes the pitch. In the dirt. Nice block. Mm -hmm. That's big. Yeah, it looks like Solicito saying he has a blitz there. Those are fun, right, Rick? Oh, love them. We'll get some treatment. So, Rick, what is your fast blister removal strategy? Are you a glue guy? Are you a you're a glue guy? I'm a, a glue guy. Yeah, basically. Um, I heard so many things over the years that. I heard even pickle brine. Okay. So like soak your fingers in pickle brine. Like all right. Um, I heard also some stuff that I won't discuss over here. But <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stick with glue. Yeah. <laughs> we'll stick with glue. Lock it up. Get it out. Lock it up. Oh Swing and a miss. Big hack by Sam Kaipa. Don't get cheated. Love it. Wanted to end this game by the swing of the, of the bat. That was a daddy hack. Love it. Your depth, Jake. Two balls, one strike to count. Next pitch misses low. Three and one. Hitters count now for Sim Kaipa. Get red on your pitch if you get it. Drive it. If he walks him, and that's a big if, I expect Solicito he'll be taken out again. But then again, I'm not the Team GB coach. But their bullpen's been firing all cylinders Rang out there. Rincones on deck. Called strike. Full count now for Sam Kaipa. Left side ground ball. Make sure you keep your depth. Jake, step to your right. Jake, step to your right. Mateo Solisito getting set. Come on, man. Come on. Here comes the payoff pitch. Fly ball. That's Into a that's trouble. Left that's trouble. That drops. That's ball game. Wow. And yeah, from Buckle was stealing third base. Yeah, in that. he put the runners on. I told you, Coach Romney's yeah. aggressive. Wow. Great ball game. Great ball game. That was a great one to watch. Great finish. Incredibly well pitched by both sides, but somebody Walk has to come out of the top. hit by Sam Kuiper. 
They win over Great Britain, one nothing. Sheer disappointment in the British faces here. They were working so hard for seven innings. Yep, get the first spot in the group. Good news is not over for them. You know they'll still have no, a both, shot. Both make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah both. So. Netherlands will be in, in first place and Brim Britain will be in the second place in their group and then they will face off with the other group tomorrow. Yeah. Next One game we'll is at 230 between Germany and Italy. Yep. It will determine the positioning in the other group. But what a game. What a game. That was a good one. Great one to watch. It's that's a good Thursday morning. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. High-quality baseball, great yeah. defense, phenomenal pitching. Uh, what do we end with here? We ended with, what, four hits between the two teams? Total. <laughs> yeah. Total? Crazy. 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 That is baseball. I love it. So, um, definitely a possibility these two teams can see each other again. We see the replay of one other base hit they, they had earlier. Seem to be some replays. Well, guys, it's been a blast. I know, Melvin, you have to leave for work. And uh, Rick and I will stay around for the other games today. Yes, sir. All right. Rick, I will see you around. Yep. Melvin, was great having you. Melvin, yeah, thank you. No good problem. friend of ours. Glad to be here. And you're, but you'll be back tomorrow, right? I will be yeah, back so back tomorrow. We'll, we'll have more Melvin tomorrow. Yeah, very good. Very more good. silliness coming your way. Yeah, <laughs> awesome, awesome guys. Great job. Thanks again, Playa TV, for this nice setup, and thanks for everybody watching our comeback. Uh, watch the next games. 2:30 is Italy against Germany, and tonight. Uh, Team Austria against Czech Republic. Tune in and spread the word. Baseball is here all week long for you. Thanks. Ciao. Oh.